Can we give him a big round of applause? Today I'm going to be talking to you about amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. I'd like to open the floor with a question. Does anybody know who this famous Yankees player is? No. Right, this is Lou Gehrig. Right, I'm just going to start off with a little intro video just to show you what ALS is. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, is an incurable neurodegenerative disorder that leads to severe paralysis and eventual death. The symptoms arise from a disruption in the normal patterns of communication between motor neurons in the brain and spinal cord. These neurons are responsible for relaying the instructions from the brain that tell the muscles to contract. In ALS patients, muscle function is lost because the motor neurons die. Biological experiments show that the dying neurons release smaller amounts of a growth factor called VEGF. VEGF protects neurons under stressful conditions and increases the blood supply when the cells need more oxygen. When VEGF is administered, the functions of the neurons can be restored. These initial results provide a basis for the development of an exciting new therapy to counter the progression of the disease. I'd like to focus on three main points today, basically background information on ALS, what is ALS? How do people live with this disease and current research on ALS? ALS is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease because he was the first famous case of ALS. It's a degenerative muscular, neuromuscular disorder that weakens the muscles because the neurons die off or send electrical impulses to the muscles. Being that they can no longer send those impulses, the muscles die off and weaken. As I said, it's also a neurological disorder because nerves die off. Symptoms don't usually peak until about the age of 50. Okay. The disease starts off by affecting simple things like coordination, like walking upstairs, simple things, maybe being able to touch your nose with your finger, things like that. Eventually, it gets really bad, um, and it affects things such as swallowing and respiratory function. Some symptoms include, as I said, swallowing, breathe, difficulty swallowing, breathing, muscle cramps, paralysis, and speech problems. 10% of cases are caused by a genetic factor. All other cases of ALS are unknown as far as what causes them. ALS patients seem to have a higher amount of glutamate, which is a cytotoxic amino acid in their cerebrospinal fluid, which basically bathes the spinal cord in the brain. Now when the neurons die off, like I said, muscles are weakened because they no longer get those electrical impulses to contract. And typically it is fatal because eventually it affects the respiratory system and you're no longer able to breathe. In some patients they actually have to have a tracheotomy, which is when they cut a hole in the patient's throat and insert a breathing tube. How many people die from ALS? Um, basically if you look at this graph you can see that most times um, males suffer from ALS. Uh, it's pretty much always fatal, and again, it starts from the age of 50 and goes up. I have a picture of Stephen Hawking here, a uh, famous scientist who suffers from ALS. Um, in most cases, it will be fatal. Uh, the only real thing that we have right now for ALS patients is just for them to take painkillers. The drug Rylatec is used. Um, this basically lowers the amount of glutamate in the cerebrospinal fluid, which seems to relieve symptoms for a while. Also, the painkiller naproxen is used basically just to ease the pain of the patient. In general, the current medications are basically just to improve the quality of life for patients, and there is no real cure. 
how many ALS patients uh, quality of life improves after treatment. Um, there is slight improvement, but there is not strong improvement yet due to the fact that we do not have a viable cure. Current research, there's research going on at TGEN, the Transitional Genetics Institute. They're currently mapping the chromosomes of ALS just to find the genetic factor and make a, basically, treatment for it. And as I said, the drug Rilotech is also still being used, and stem cells are also talked about as being a possible treatment for ALS. ALS statistics, just showing the onset again, showing that males get this disease more. Again, what is ALS? ALS is a neuromuscular degenerative disorder in which the nerves die off and cause the muscles to weaken. How do people live with this disease? Basically, they just take uh, pain relief medications and usually it leads to fatality. And the current research is just to find a cure for the genetic uh, portion of the disease, which is only 10%. The other cause of ALS is actually still unknown. Are there any questions? Okay. And those are my references.